Religion plays an important role in the modern world. One of these religions is Buddhism. And like all religions, it also has its different teachings. So today, this is what we are going to learn about. An important concept in Hinduism is the cycle of rebirth. So first, let us understand what the cycle is. Firstly, we all take birth, then we live our lives, after which we die. So what happens after death? Well, after death, we are born again and this cycle continues. So this is an important concept even in Buddhism. According to Buddha, once we live our lives, we only suffer because we have a lot of wishes and desires, right? So to be truly free from this suffering, we must be free from this cycle of rebirth. So now we already saw how Buddha had starved himself, right? But before that, Buddha lived a life of luxury. He had everything, but he still wasn't happy in that. After that, he starved himself and he still wasn't happy. He got rid of all of his possessions and this was the renunciation. So he gave up everything and meditated for six years and still he could not find the answer to the question that was why do humans or why do all living forms suffer so much? Therefore, unable to find the answers to his questions by leading this life, what did he do? Well, he gave up the life of starvation and he realized about the middle path. So what is this middle path? Let's find out. So let's try to understand this topic of middle path with an example of a musical instrument. So if you take a musical instrument, you will see that if its strings are too loose, too loosely tied, then it will not make perfect music. However, if you go and tie those strings too tightly, then what happens? Then the sound breaks and that is also not what we want, right? So from that, what do we understand? We understand that to make proper music, we need the strings to not to be too loose or to be too tight. So it should be in the middle, right? Both of these things, it will be between these things. It will not be these extreme things. And because of that, there will be a balance. So even in life, a balance should be maintained. And this was the middle path. Take a look at this picture here. Here you can see on one side, a man is starving, whereas on the other side, two people are getting fat. So none of these is a good life, right? So to attain happiness, one must follow the middle way. That is to not follow the extremes, but live life in moderation. Following this way, you can stay happy. So now let us try to understand the middle way better with an example. Imagine one day you get to eat pizza and in all of that excitement, you still just end up eating one slice of pizza. So you're not happy or you're not satisfied because you just had one slice of pizza. So what do you do? Next time you get a chance to eat a pizza, you decide to eat up five slices of pizzas. But you are still not happy because you had five slices. Now you feel sick and you might just vomit. You're also scared that your mother might scold you, right? So even after having five slices of pizza, you're not happy. So what do you do next? It is this time that we can follow the concept of middle way. Next time around, you eat just two slices of pizza and you save some for your friend as well. You, now you don't even feel sick and you are satisfied because you followed this middle way. You followed the path of moderation. That is, you didn't just eat one slice, you ate more than one, but less than five. And so you are happy. This was the concept of middle path. So this is Joseph and he gets a history homework which is to be completed during the winter vacation. But what happens next? Well, during the vacations, his cousin arrives. And so Joseph becomes very lazy and spends all of his days playing different games with his cousin and not completing his homework at all. So many days pass and he still likes to enjoy and spend all of his time playing different games with his brother. Now, after a lot of time passes, his parents are also worried whether or not he has done his homework. So they ask Joseph and Joseph lies to them saying that, yes, I have completed my homework. In reality, he is just delaying doing his homework, thinking that he has a lot of time at hand. However, many days pass and tomorrow the school is going to be opened. So now Joseph is very tensed and very scared that he might get punished by his teacher for not doing the homework. So now taking Joseph's example, we can try to understand another very important teaching by Buddha, which was the Ashtangika Marga or the Eightfold Path. 
so now let's try to understand it the first point there is the right view which tells us that we must always understand whether something will cause a trouble or not and from joseph's story we can understand that joseph did not realize that he does not have a lot of time to complete his homework his main aim was supposed to be to finish all of his assignment on time and then play games later on but since he did not understand that he suffered the next point is right intent or right intentions now joseph did not have right intentions and it is to think wisely which joseph definitely did not do he became lazy and decided to not do his homework on time he kept delaying it right and that is why joseph suffered so another important point is right intent or right intentions the next one is right speech so you might have heard your parents saying that you should not lie or you should not abuse or use swear words right this is another important teaching by buddha which is to never lie but always speak with love and compassion so you saw joseph's parents asking him right that whether or not he has done his homework and joseph lies to them and that one lie became such a big problem for joseph and that is why joseph suffered after which is right action which is to complete work on time so joseph was supposed to complete his history homework during the winter vacations right however since his cousin arrived he spent all of his days playing different games with him and so he did not complete his work on time and that is the reason why joseph suffered the next one is right livelihood which means that one should live his or her life righteously and perform all the duties that are required taking joseph's example we can here understand that his one duty was to be a good student right and so he should have completed his homework on time and because he did not do that he suffered this also includes another thing that is one should not perform duties or have such a livelihood that hurts other people right and so because joseph did not complete his one duty on time that is why he suffered had he done that then he would not have faced any such problems the next important point is right effort which means to always be enthusiastic to learn had joseph been enthusiastic to learn he would have definitely completed all of his work on time and realized that he still has a lot of time to play with his cousin but since he did not do that he faced a lot of problem the next important point is right mindfulness which is to always stay alert now because joseph was so busy playing badminton and different games with his cousin he completely forgot that he was even supposed to do his homework right and so he wasn't alert and that is exactly why joseph suffered the last point is right concentration which means to focus more on our duties so because we do not concentrate correctly we forget a lot of things and that is exactly what happened to joseph and because of it he suffered terribly so this eight fold path is represented by the wheel wheel of dharma or dharma chakra which you can see here with its eight spokes telling us about the eight fold path which is very important lesson by buddha so from that we can come to the understanding that buddha in fact had a lot of important lessons to teach us and these were only a few and you can even learn about buddha's other teachings in our next video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the delta step app and get easy access to more than 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now